Hi guys, it's Alessandra and welcome to another edition of Drunk Vegan Taste Test. This is another um, England one because I bought so much food on the plane. Um, <coughs> you'll be happy to know all the snacks have been pre-tried by my sister. This one wasn't actually opened yet because I bought four bags of them, but uh, she got into the Vega. I don't even have toast, but I was like, I need to eat this now. I heard they're bringing it to the U.S. in a few weeks. And I was like, oh my god, I need to try the British one. I think it's going to be a few different ingredients. I don't know. I've never had this without toast. And drunk. I don't eat sugar while drunk. Like, I don't really get drunk on my own. And I'm like, oh, I eat chocolate hazelnut for... It's like, oh, I'm drunk and... <laughs> I don't know what I eat when I'm drunk, really. I, I had pretzels last time. Hmm. This is good. <laughs> well, this one's actually crunchy. Like a crunchy bagel spread. It's really good. I wonder what the ingredients are. Sugar, cocoa, vanilla. Wait, is that the ingredients or? Uh, I think that was just an allergy warning. I don't really know what was that. Lecithin. There's lecithin. And there's energy in it. I think maybe that's calories, energy, I don't know. If you know, answer. Hmm. This is good. I've never had a crunchy chocolate hazelnut spread before. So, like, this is, like, really good. So, by the way, this is an animal sanctuary that I visited. I know some people get annoyed when they see writing and can't read it. <laughs> this is tasty. Hmm. It's interesting that they made it crunchy. So, I prefer crunchy peanut butter, so I like it. There's lots of chocolate nut spreads, but like, I don't know if I had a crunchy one before. I'm not gonna get up and get nasty. Um, okay. I'm gonna give the uh, Lego fine hazelnut chocolate spread crunchy. Fair trade, which you know because the village I told you guys I went to was fair trade only. I think I'm going to give it a 9 because I'm not into chocolate nut spreads. Everyone's obsessed with them. There's like Nutella this and chocolate peanut butter that and almond chocolate this. I'm like, should I lower the rating for a personal preference? Yeah, 9. nine. So for... So for, <clears throat> so for our next treat, I'm so tired, um, it's Jealous Sweets. Jealous Sweets? I have dyslexia. So. Jealous Sweets, Grizzly Bears, Lemon, Apple, Orange, Strawberry, Vegan, Gluten Free. Oh my god, it says a nutrition fact. Calories, 134. And they're vegan. Mmm, that tastes like orange. That's really nice. 
That's nice. This is one also orange. Hmm. Is there something to add less sugar? Maybe like an artificial sweetener I'm detecting? I'm like detecting stuff? And it's good. Those are the ingredients in a different language. Our ingredients, glucose, words, paprika. Hmm. Sperlium? Hmm. It doesn't look like there's an artificial sweetener. I wonder why that's tasting silly. That's correct. Come in. I don't know what these words are. I understood the word pumpkin. There's pumpkin. Uh huh. Okay, so that was orange. Orange tasted like orange, and. Strawberries just like strawberries. Try lemon on this side of my mouth. Mmm. That tastes like so much lemon. I feel like people wouldn't like that. Like, I love lemon. Like, I'll put like an eight ounce glass of water and like eat lemon wedges, but like, I don't think other people like that. All right, so now I need to try apple. Ooh, shit. This apple's gonna be green. There's not a lot of green ones. They're cute though, they're like, they look like normal. There's... I don't know if you can see this color better. Cute. Cute. And my favorite too. <laughs> okay, so I tried all the flavors. The consistency is not like what I remember regular gummy bears tasting like exactly. But I feel like you could still give these to someone and they won't question anything. So I'm gonna give these an eight. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Bego bar. I know, it looks like a lot of work because I have to open this, but my sister took care of that and I actually don't because she makes a large one. And eat most of it so we know it's not poisonous. I like to just always go back to England. I feel like this is gonna make me sick. I don't really drink beer and eat candy. Chocolate's melting. <laughs> So the definition is a whole hazelnut chocolate bar, chocolate bar, that sounds wrong, chocolate bar, <laughs> um, and it has 2,456 energies, cool. So it's interesting that they put whole hazelnuts, I actually like it. Pretty cool. And it's melting. It's like melting a lot. <laughs> like, I have to turn that heater off as loud as heck.
Entendeu? Vai para aí. So this is melting. Pain in the ass. And it's making me feel sick because I drank it or I ate chocolate. So I can't really hold that against it. The taste is spot on. It's so creamy. Loving this creamy dream. Hmm. I kind of want to suck the chocolate off the nuts and then eat the nuts. Like just eat the hazelnuts. Not like spit the chocolate out because it's gross, but yeah. Now you eat them separate. So melty. I think I'm going to give this a nine though. It's tasty. Like I'm not a chocolate person, but this is really tasty. It's like creamy chocolate. It um doesn't like it's not too dark or too milky. It's like perfect. I think it stopped filming. Was I going like this? And then I said to look at the difference. Anyway, thank you for watching this edition of Drunk Vegan Taste Test England. Like I said, the village I went to was all fair trade, so like I couldn't get a lot of um, stuff that the internet said to get, but I don't really care. This stuff is good, and I like that it's fair trade, to be honest. That's like a plus. Have a good day, everyone. Mm-hmm.